fresh cut flowers add so much beauty and just brighten up a home, but they can be expensive if you buy them. So why not grow them yourself? The Crackpot Gardener, Cindy Shafton, has got a whole cutting garden full of beautiful flowers. <laughs> yes. Hi, Cindy. Hi, T. How you doing? I'm fantastic. I love these flowers. These are dahlias? No, these are actually, well, this is actually a dahlia zinnia. A dahlia zinnia. Yes. And um, you can take a look at all the petals on that. that. That is beautiful. The thing you always, always want to keep in mind when you're cutting flowers is always have clean, sharp shears. Okay. And always have a bucket of water with you when you're cutting so you can immerse them quickly in water. Cut deep. Um, maturity is a big deal when you're talking about flowers. So yeah. you want to just, on zinnias especially, kind of check them, just kind of tap the bottom, maybe mm -hmm. about eight inches down. And if it doesn't wobble too much, they're ready. And so then you can cut it. Yeah. We take, remove the bottom leaves because they'll cause decay. So you want to look for flowers that have a long stem long that you stem. plant for your and cutting garden. don't worry, keep okay. cutting. Cut long, cut tall, you know. Okay. Um, these are called binary giants. And so they're, oh. they're specifically um, bred for height. Gotcha. But you can always just keep, the more you cut, the more they grow. Which I can't believe because I always feel a little bit timid about cutting my Pe flowers. People always feel that way, but these are fillers. These are solosia. Yes, you've told me about the fillers, Another so we got to have those. Zinnias are easy to start by seed, and so are these. So yeah. here's a yellow one, okay. and here's a red one. But these will help to kind of fill up space in a flower arrangement yeah. and give you some really pretty colors as well. Oh, I love that. Now, I know you love dahlias, right? They're one of my favorite flowers, and you've got a whole row I've over got a, here. I've got quite a few of them over here. Okay. So um, let's take a look at these. Okay. We have all different colors. Look at this purple one. Oh, just that's coming. so beautiful. So we can go nice and deep down here and take a nice size cutting. Yeah. And the nice thing is they don't even have leaves on it, so it's easy to just put oh, it in the bucket. That's right. This one you don't even have to strip down. And check this one out. I love this variety. Look, we can get a nice, look how long I can yes. make this one. Oh I've been cutting goodness. these and cutting them. And look at the star shape. That is beautiful. Look Isn't at that, that very beautiful? So we want to plant flowers that have a long stem. Mm -hmm. We can't feel timid about cutting them because they do better when we cut them. The more you cut, the more they grow. And they gonna, want to cut. They, they want, want to be, to be cut. cut and mm -hmm. we save money. Let's take a look at some that you've already put together. All right. And voila, look at these there beautiful arrangements you have already put together for us. Yes. Yes, um, these are a combination of different herbs and flowers, which I think are just really beautiful together. So putting herbs in with an arrangement is nothing I'd ever really thought about before. Yes, yes. and it just it, I think it makes the bouquet, and it smells really great that way too. And here's just a little, you don't have to have a big whopping bouquet. You can just have a little nosegay. Yeah. Very simple with zinnias and some little sprigs that stick up, you know, make it you know, kind of wispy. And purples and pinks and bright yellows, colors. just bright colors. And you can imagine, even that is just beautiful. It and is gorgeous. The, the way to keep these going is to every other day trim them at a 45 degree angle and change the water and they'll last a good week or so. Folks can find out more information where? On my Facebook page, The Crackpot Gardener, or then go to my website, cindyshapton.com, where I'll, have, I'll post classes. And you can always find me at the Leaper's Fork Farmer's Market on Thursdays where I sell big, beautiful bouquets of herbs and flowers. Just like these. Thank Just you like so much, Cindy. I love these. Thanks for coming.